What's up guys? Today we're building a new PC. I mainly will be using it for video editing, mainly for YouTube and some other projects. We're at my friend Richard's place. He's uh, one of my car friends. He's got a 991.2 GT3. This guy tracks this car. He's gone Smokey's GT several times. Went through a Cayman GT4 to a manual 991. He's got the Macan over there as his daily. I've known Richard through car stuff for a little bit. He is a big car guy, but he knows way more about computers than I ever will. So I enlisted his assistance. He kind of told me what to buy. We're gonna go inside, I've got all the parts they've showed up. We're gonna put it together so I can edit some awesome videos. Here are my parts. That is a case, that is the CPU. Here's how, this is my, I had a little bit of a concern. My RAM came and the packaging wasn't so great. So Newegg Most of the stuff didn't do that great of a job. Like the plastic was already all like kind of ripped apart. Okay, well if it doesn't Long, work. Then we go to Newegg and get angry. Water cooler, uh, the pump and everything is kind of contained in here. And then there's an inlet and outlet. I have um, a closed loop degree. water, so I could say have a I have a water cooled PC. Yeah. So this is what most people do. They get, they call them AIOs, all in ones. Oh, okay. Um, gotcha. Versus a full custom loop. Like yeah, that. something like that. But that looks really cool. <laughs> It does, but you're yeah. definitely in the realm of diminishing returns. Okay. Um, most of that is for e penis kind of bragging rights. Yes. Um, Richard really much values his e penis, so yeah. this is a ten thousand dollar. This is a set of HREs right there. You could have some nice forged HREs on that GT3. I could. To premise everything is, I don't have insane unlimited budget. I just bought a condo, so and no matter what, I have a budget. So this was all around under three thousand dollars. 2800 with my monitor. The monitor was $800, the Acer X34P. Um, the rest of everything was $2,000, and I just pretty much told Richards, he goes, hey, I've got two grand to spend. What is the best I can build for editing? Because I'm just using it for video editing, Adobe Suite, some like web browsing. I don't really game much, but. Yeah, and then you missed a sale on. Uh, yeah. So there's Whoops. a 1950X in here. I know a lot of you guys who are into the craft out there are like, why the hell did you go with a 1950X? It's the fall of 2019. Yeah. Um, the particular day that I built the cart form on PC Part Picker, it was down to like 240 something odd dollars. Ah, crap. You cannot run from that. Ah, crap. Okay. Whoops. Um, so it's, I mean, it's a 16 core CPU, and we weren't building this with gaming in mind. We were more concerned about multi thread performance and things like Adobe Premiere and yes. the like. So, um, not that you're going to be running SQL clusters on this thing, but if you want, I suppose you can. English! English! Relational databases, <laughs> you're not going to be running. CPU going in. Theoretically. All right, I'm just gonna fast forward to the end because this is the channel about cars, not computer building, and people are probably bored. I mean, there's a GT3 and a there is one. Well, we'll, we'll, yeah, I already showed them the, the GT3 of your smoky stickers and your track stickers. Uh, well, I'll show you the end product of this thing completely done, and then we'll do more car talking things. Right. But I'm super excited about this. I've never had something like this for editing. It's been a decently powerful laptop or moderately powerful desktop. So this is gonna be awesome. We're making good progress, graphics card is in, power supply is in there, but we discovered that this CPU cooler is not compatible, even though on the website it said it was, it requires this bracket that we don't have. So, we're gonna take a field trip and actually just buy a completely different cooler that is compatible, Richard promises, right? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna take a field trip, probably take the GT3. Making progress, but after dinner we'll finish this thing. Gotta love these things. So, whoa, 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 whoa. You just said you'd rather have a PDK than the GT3 manual. Yes. Why? This car is used to take my wife to dinner and for track days. Yes. Um, and I take my track driving pretty seriously. Yeah. Um, so I faster mean, to use better. Yes. Okay. And it, I, PDKS is fun. Yeah. Um, I will say, like, whenever I took John's uh, GT3 RS, uh -huh. it's a fun car. Um, but it does get boring, like, kind of just tooling around it. And the manual's nice for that. Um, in a perfect world, I'd have a Touring, one of these, um, and, uh, and an RS. But... Touring, a Touring manual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the Touring, I think you can only have in a manual. No, you get a PDK. Um, can you in a Touring? I think so. See, that makes a lot of sense, actually. But I still want to get it that way. Yeah. Um, my only problem is, as much as I want an RS, yeah. Um, I kind of want to just move towards like a GT4 Club Sports. Okay. Um, and then get like a more exotic supercar. No. No. I. Oh, you do. I have a soft spot for the 812. He, but he, I he's have... gonna have an 812. Within gear on the internet, <laughs> it is being stated. Richard will have an 812. I will have an 812. Yes, without a I doubt. Will. The amount he's every single day, the day doesn't begin until Richard sends an 812 picture that, that in the in cool. the group chat, yes. <laughs> um, my thing is uh I don't 
I, I'm starting to lose love for the day to day. Like, I don't know, I just don't enjoy driving this on the road so much. Makes sense. Um, and it's not like our roads are fun to drive on most of the time. No, either. and then that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited to get out to Seattle Bellevue just because I can do all of my own drives. Yep. Um, but I want something dedicated. Um, so I've been looking at GT4 Club Sports. Okay. I've been looking. Not too many teams have moved from them yet, but I've been looking at the AMG GT4 race car. Oh, dude, that would um, be sick. It would be, and, yeah. the, and the running costs are pretty low. Compared um, to the... Compared, to, compared a, to a cup car, yes. the running costs are really low. Okay. Um, the engine should be good for a couple hundred hours, actually. Okay. Um, and then, but the cool thing about the GT4 Club Sport, it's even cheaper, and then it's actually using the standard PDK that's in the lineup, um, nah. and they don't measure that in hours or time at all. Oh, okay. Just eventually, it starts slipping, and then they replace it. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. That's just kind of where I want to go next. But that requires a truck and a trailer. Yes, and, and support team, and blah, blah, blah. yeah. And then yeah. to make it worth it, you got to hire a coach. I have a coach now. Yeah. Um, awesome guy. His name's Dave Perell. Uh, he actually coaches me in sim racing and for uh, on track stuff. Okay. Um, great guy. He races in the Blanc Blanc GT. Um, silver class driver. Wow. Um, yeah. So he was. He's got on, legit credentials. Yeah. So he more than just legit credentials. So in the pro am class with Rinaldi Racing, they won in their class this year. Wow. The 24 hours of spot. That's awesome. That's your coach. Yep. Yeah. Um, actually, I would tell anyone out there, if you want to spend money on mods. Mod yourself, yes. get a coach. I've heard that many, many times. Or go to like one of the driving classes, yeah. bond around, whatever the hell it is. Yeah, it's better than slapping more power onto your car or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a GT3, right? Oh, I love it. 9,000 RPM of yeah, NA. Absolutely fantastic. That, did you ever, you had money down for a 9M 1.1 and you never took it, the 3.8. I never had an opportunity to buy one. Oh, you didn't, so you just went straight to this one essentially, yes. from the so GT4. so my first Porsche was a, uh, the first generation GT4. Okay. Um, super lucky, got it in MSRP. It's one of the benefits of living in the Metro Detroit area. Less it's competition. Much less competition. Yes. Um, but I waited in line like everybody else. My chance came. I did European delivery. Yeah. Like, um, European delivery sounds amazing. We oh, gotta do. Fantastic. We're gonna sit fantastic. down and just talk about that separate video because yeah, sure. it, it sounded sure. amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely worth the holiday. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so GT4, love that car. Fantastic mm -hmm. car, and I missed the two trunks. If I'm honest. <laughs> um, the frunk and the trunk. <laughs> and then uh, I actually had no intent of buying a GT3 at that point. Um, just at the oh, time, the economics weren't there for me. Okay. Um, I had some some uh, luck with my business. Um, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, um, I got a call um, from my dealer, and they're like, hey, we've got a 991 Mark II yes. GT3 RS allocation. Oh. Um, but business wasn't that great at the time. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I actually called the owner of uh, Platinum Motor Cars, named Syed, right. he's a good guy. Yes. Um, and I was like, hey, do you want this RS allocation at MSRP? He's like, yeah, no, I want it right now. Uh -huh. uh, so we call, and the cool thing I will say about Dan Kelly at Farmington Hills Porsche, uh, yes, I just plugged him. Um, he stuck to his guns and he said, hey, this guy's not on our list. We're going to go to the next person down. They didn't let me transfer it to a friend or anything like that. Oh. They didn't, they didn't take any offers for cash. Yeah. Or anything. They were very legitimate and very professional. That's that's and good. They okay. They stuck to their list. Okay. Um, so sorry I did not get it. So sorry I did not get ah. it. Um, After significant frustration and figuring out some other things, it is up and alive. And uh, Richard is going to do more computer things. So my computer is finished now, it's home, uh, but we had a couple problems that we encountered. You know how that initial um, CPU cooler was not fitting with the TR4 socket, so we had to go drive out, buy a different one, everything was all set up. Well, we ended up discovering the pump on that was not working, so it was not cooling the computer down, the temperature skyrocketed, it would auto shut off. So we ended up ordering that bracket that would make the Corsair CPU cooler compatible with the uh, the actual TR4 socket there. Ended up having to return the other one to Micro Center, so that was a waste of time. But eventually, all up and running, put together, and I'm really excited about it. We are up and running. The 21 by 9 ultra wide monitor. I finally have a 4K monitor to use. This is my old one. I actually bought this in college. It's a regular 1080p Samsung monitor. So I just run it as a kind of secondary thing. But I need to throw a window over there. PC's up and going. Getting some good speeds. I get to peel the plastic off, which is very satisfying. Well, it's satisfying if I can get to it. All right, struggling. 
Maybe this side will work better. Nope. Nope. This is like the best part of new electronics. Yes. What's happening? Oh, it's in there. Oh, yeah. And there we go. That is my new PC for editing. This entire build was, uh, for just the computer, was right around $2,000. My monitor was $800. My budget for this entire thing was $3,000. So I viewed it as kind of an investment into editing videos to make it a little smoother. And it was about due. This uh, laptop I've been using since... I think like sophomore year of college when I first started doing YouTube videos. So that's, I mean, four or five years old. It was it was decently pop, pop, powerful, but it wasn't cutting it. It was glitching out sometimes. The graphics card would throw in it. Uh, it just wasn't doing what I needed it to do. So built this. Thanks to my friend Richard for the help. Talked to him, a couple other people, putting it together. I've never done it before. I learned a lot um, hanging out with them, getting it all together. I'm very excited to start editing videos. This monitor is going to be awesome to use. Curved ultra wide. Hope you guys kind of like this. I know some people might be into computers, mostly about car stuff, but I figured I'd share it. And we talked about GT3 stuff too um, with Richard. Hope you guys like this video. If any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.